Well, it's Gus Knives and Watches, man, and here's the deal. I'm gonna remake a video uh, that I made before and didn't do a very good job at it. Because, you know, it is what it is. Now, I had to take this thing it's on three different trips with these wheels. Now, these wheels suck. <laughs> now, they need to be replaced. The rubber is gone off of them. The only thing that's left is just the plastic wheel itself. Now, when you're buying luggage, you need to be aware of how to service it. Let's say you have to service it when you're away. Uh, possibly things break. Uh, things being thrown on and off of, a, of an airline. Uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. So when you're buying it, you know, you need to think about that. And that's really what this video is about, is think about the problems that can occur before they occur. Now, this is not your super fancy new luggage that's got four casters that rotate this, there, or the other. This is just your simple two-wheel carry-around luggage. Now, I've already replaced one of the wheels. That's that one down there. I thought I'd take you along on this one. Did a terrible job on the last video. But, here's what we're gonna do. Here's the broken, the broken wheel that I took off. And of course, you know, down there. And here's what I'm replacing it with. Now, if you can see, which you can't very much that way, but you can this way. There's a size difference between these wheels. Why is that? Rubber's all gone off this. And you can see where the plastic part of the wheel has all been chewed up, to, you know, from just use. Now, where I noticed uh, that this was kind of bum-fuzzled was not so much the way it rolled, which is bad, but it was the noise. This thing was loud. Going over tile, going over any surface other than carpet, this thing just screamed, was screaming at me. Now I'll show you another one that I did and it was on the previous video. And I just, you know, why I didn't do this one at the same time, I have no idea. Probably because I wanted to make it, you know, I knew the other video sucked. But anyway, it is what it is. So, we're gonna replace it with this one. Now, here's what you need to know. You need to know the diameter of your wheel when you're buying it, and you need to know the diameter of your axle that goes through it, and then also your width, this, there, or the other. Now, this is just a, and I'll show you the label here in a second. This is just a made in China AO Wish four pack inline back hub, you know, black wheel. Yeah, black hub, black wheel, made in China. Okay, now let's get down into this. It's just an inline skate wheel, four pack beginner roller blade replacement wheel. Okay, beginner. We're not going to put that much weight on, not going to put that much force. We're not, you know, doing anything this there or the other does that would i like to have had something that's a little bit better yeah but i'll show you on the other one it went through the same thing this one went through and uh, shows almost nowhere not only that it's very quiet as it rolls uh and unfortunately when you're moving around as much as we do that's it's just irritating uh it's got pre-installed bearings abec 9 ABEC 9 is a bearing rating, uh, and it gets into the size of the bearings and this, that, or the other. Now, so it's important for you to know just very easily uh, with any type of measure. And I'll, remember, all, most of this is going to be in, in metric systems, so you're going to need to be able to measure it in millimeters. You can do it with a set of calipers, you can do it with whatever. Uh, which I did it with a set of calipers. I basically just set a, put a set of calipers in, measured the diameter, and then bought another wheel. 
So, I've already taken a couple screws out very easily. Let's speed this, speed this thing forward, man. Now, everything that you do, it's in, you know, your mistakes are always made in buying. If you don't buy it right, you number one, can't sell it right. You can't sell it right, you can't profit off of it, or you can't service it. Uh, that's something that I had to learn a long time ago in, in uh, real estate, uh, buying and selling property, this, that, or the other. Well, I don't sell property, but I have sold a couple pieces in the past, but this is just a Stanley screwdriver. This is a five in one. Six and one, sorry. Hell, it might be more than that. But here's the deal. It's just simply pull it out, turn it over. You got your standard sides. And then you got, of course, doubles. You got big and small and this there or the other. Also, it's got five eighths and a quarter. So that's five eighths side. And then of course the other side is the quarter side. You can tell it's it's milled down. Great tool to have. Five eighths, quarter, four bits, we're good. Okay, enough talking about screwdrivers. So, of course we've got the Filson uh, apart. We've got a C-clip in there, which all we have to do is very easily rotate around, take off. Well, I made that sound a lot easier. <laughs> easier saying it than it is doing it, boy. So we pulled the thing off, okay? Got our C-clip. We got a washer. <laughs> we got our wheel. And of course, we've got the uh, axle. So, one piece of advice. Take a rag, clean off everything. If you can get access to the other side, clean off there too. Now in this particular in this particular case, why that just keeps goo off your stuff. And uh, two, it just keeps goo off your stuff. You know, what are you putting in the suitcase, man? <laughs> just just like, you know, it's like, man, I don't know. So clean everything off. I'm gonna throw our axle through. Throw it up through the wheel. Come on, baby. Talk to me. There you go. And then up through it. And it's just the, it's just the exact reverse process. Put the washer on, and then we're gonna put the C-clip on. Which is pretty easy. This is a magnetic screwdriver. I don't particularly like magnetism on some screwdrivers, but you know, this there or the other. And then you know the drill. Flip it back around. And throw our screws in. Blah, 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 this there or the other. Now, I'll save you the, the this there, you know, watch me put four screws in. Now, so we've got new wheels that are quiet, roll better, and uh, are larger, which will keep everything just up and away from this, uh, this, you know, and a few millimeters matters in this, okay? I'm not gonna sit there and say it's a huge amount, but any, you know, distance that you can get your stuff away from hard surfaces, abrasions, this, there, and the other, matter. Look at the bottom, here you go, now. Take this one out, I'll show you this one. This one went through the same stuff. Now, these are also those same wheels that I put on that other one, but they've been through three trips. Now, if you can tell where the mold to put those two sides together, it hasn't even worn enough to, to, to remove the little raised area from where the two parts of the mold to put the rubber on it, you know, were. So that's three trips on this one. 
And uh, that was where I go like, man, this one was rolling smooth. It rolled great. It was quiet. And I'm going like, yeah, I got to change this. <laughs> I, can't, I can't live with this anymore. So anyway, that's the way that one works out. And uh, I'll put my screws back in here and get this one back up and operational. As I said, I could have could have asked Filson to uh, give me some more wheels and this, that, or the other. Uh, but, I, you know, I want what I want. If I'm going to have to spend the time on it, for the small amount of money for those, which they were relatively inexpensive, Amazon got them to me within, uh, you know, prime shipping got them to me relatively quickly it was just easier for me with that other one uh, because i needed them relatively quickly uh, to get it done now so here we go and filson probably would have sent them to me for free but reality was i just want what i want <laughs> this is guys and eyes and watches and have a good one